the Lewis structure of the nitrate iron. Nitrate iron has the formula NO3 with a 1 minus charge. So we choose a nitrogen and three oxygens. NO3 with a 1 minus charge. Now, if we attach one oxygen to the nitrogen by a double bond, this will fulfill or the requirements of this oxygen. This oxygen starts off with six electrons, so it will have a further two electrons here and two electrons here. It will have altogether eight electrons around it. Out of the five electrons this nitrogen started with, we have used two. It's got three electrons left. If we share a pair of electrons with one oxygen, this oxygen would then have one and another five, which makes seven altogether around it. Obviously, it starts off with six. Choose one here. It's got five left. Five and the two here makes seven. But we can add in one for the minus charge. So if we were to put this oxygen's electrons, one, and five, And we add in one electron for the minus charge. Then that just leaves us with another oxygen with six electrons to sort out. Well, the nitrogen has used one, two, three of its electrons. It has two more electrons. And so with this pair of electrons, it can form a dative coordinate bond to the oxygen. The oxygen then can have use its three pairs of electrons to fulfill the requirements or its requirements in terms of the full octet. So, in summary, this would be the shape, or the Lewis structure rather, of the nitrate iron. Don't forget we've added in one extra electron. If we want to do some accountancy, we can think that each oxygen started off with six electrons. That's 18 for the three oxygens. The nitrogen started off with five. That's 18 and five is 23. And we added in one more for the minus charge. That makes 24. And that gives us one, two, three octets adding up to 24 electrons. The shape of the nitrate iron, well, for the, around the nitrogen there are one, two and three regions of electron density. So the nitrogen will adopt an sp2 hybridized trigonal planar shape.